Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll do this sum in isometry. Now if you see in the in this sum, length is 100, height is 50, width is 50. So an origin is on the right hand side. So first we will start with O and we'll take length on left side, width on right side, height vertically. So 100, 50, 50 and we'll complete this box. After that if you see in front view there are three parts, 1, 2 and 3. So part 1 is here, right? Part 1 is here, part 2 is behind, which is how much behind? 15 behind. And part 3 is here. So we'll start with part 1 first. See this part, right? Which is nearer to us. So first we'll take 15. We'll draw a line and we'll complete this box. So what we are trying to draw? We are trying to draw that base plate. After that, if you see there is a circle over there. So we have to draw rhombus of side 50, 50, 50. Then we'll draw longest diagonal. We'll mark midpoint, midpoint. And from this corner, we can join this. See this, this is point 1. So from 1, we can draw arc. Like this. From 2, we can draw arc like this. So we are done with semicircle. Now the same circle we want down also, right? So what we will do from point 1, we will go down by 15 because height is 15. And from there again and from 2 also we can go down by 15. So that is 2 dash. Now we will take 1 to this radius and from 1 dash we will draw arc. Same way 2 to this radius. Take this radius, go down at 2 dash and draw radius. And you draw tangent. So we, have, so we are done with the bottom plate. Now after that, if you take midpoint, midpoint, midpoint. So that is 25, 25, 25. We'll get the center point and from that point we can mark we have to draw radius 10, right? So from center we'll take 10, 10, 10, 10 and we'll draw rhombus. So this is the longest diagonal. We'll draw channel V. So from here we can draw this arc. Same method, four center method. See this. From here we can draw this arc. From here we can draw this arc. Wherever it will cut the diagonal. See this. We can draw these two radius. So we are done with the smaller circle. After drawing this, we can draw part 2. But we need to see the depth also. If you see height is how much? 15. So from this point, let's say I have to go down by 15. Because height is 15. Take this radius, go down by 15 and you draw R. See this, take this radius, go down by 15, draw R. Now we'll draw part 2. See part 2 is how much behind? 1 and 2 there is a dark line, right? So it is behind. Part 2 is behind. How much it is behind? That will come to know from top view. If you see total width is 50, this is 35, so 15. So you go 15 behind and you start with part 2. See, it will be like this. Right? So this is how much? 50. So you can mark 10, 30, 10. Then you can go behind. How much you have to go behind? 35. Now the circle will come here. So I'll take 10 from here, 10 from here. I'll mark, I'll draw this line. Right now we need to draw only circle. So what I will do, I will mark midpoint 15 because it is 30, draw vertical line. 
and from center will cut 15 up, 15 down, 15 left, 15 right. So when you draw, you'll get rhombus. Then you draw longest diagonal. From this point you draw midpoint, midpoint. See so from here we can draw, let's say point 3. From point 3 we can draw this curve. Same way from this point, we can draw this curve. Right? Now same thing we want behind. How much behind? 35. So you take point 3 behind by 35. See this. Take this radius. Go behind by 35. Draw arc. So part 2 is over. Right? Take this radius, go behind by 35, draw R. Got it? It's called copy paste method. Now we'll draw part 3. This is how much? 35, that is 10. So you have to go behind by how much? 25. Or from front you can go 40 behind. So from here I'll go 25 behind. I'll draw a line. Then how much is that line? 20. So I'll take 20 and I will draw that slope. Then you go behind by 10, 10 because width is 10 so we are done with this part also so we are done with this isometric sum thank you